First up, we bring you a story on OK Play, a company with the sole mission of being a global player in the field of plastic molded products through its world class product range that is both large and diverse and includes product lines such as toys, classroom furniture, playground equipment, fuel tanks, automotive parts, and electric vehicles. Raghav, thank you for taking out time and joining us. To begin with, your journey with OK Play has been quite fascinating. So, talk to us about uh, you know your journey uh, when you started and how you have uh, you know maneuvered the whole e-vehicle business. We started with water tanks. Uh, that was in 1988. Uh, the company back then was called Aqua Pure Containers Private Limited. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1991, we acquired a, a British company by the name of OK Play. Mm -hmm. And in 93, we re renamed it as OK Play India. Okay. Uh, starting from there, we launched our initial public offering in 94 and entered the automotive division in 2003. So today we have three verticals in the company. One is the education and toy sector. Okay. One is the automotive uh, components and one is electric vehicles. What all of these verticals have in common is the plastic. Mm -hmm. So uh, our expertise are in pl plastic rotation molding low molding, injection molding, thermoforming. So we took it out from there and we started uh, developing bodies for um, the so-called e-rickshaws which you see in the market, right. which came in from China in 2010. Okay. However, the market being very nascent and unorganized, uh, the bodies were not accepted by the so-called uh, manufacturers. Being in the automotive industry, uh, having all the norms in place, uh, all the government standards in place, and having the technical know-how, we started to develop uh, the e-rickshaw by ourselves as a complete uh, product. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when we used our expertise in plastic uh, to incorporate that in the e-rickshaws. That was done in 2015. Okay. And as we stand today in 2018, uh, I believe we are one of the market leaders. From where did the company you know, garner this kind of courage to experiment in different verticals? And what kept the company going forward? So, our company is basically an innovation company. We do multiple products, mainly in plastic. We do also a combination of plastic, metal, wood uh, for the furniture. Right. Um, so, plastic rotation molding, the technology gives us the advantage of making multiple produ products in different shapes for different applications. Uh, we are now also venturing into underground uh, switch tanks, mm -hmm. uh, we do over at water tanks, uh, okay. we do a lot of interior parts for automotive uh, industries, for example, bus parts. So uh, plastic per se gives us a lot of uh, room for experimenting. All right. And my next question to you is about the vertical that is very close to your heart as well, the e-vehicles. Right. Talk to us about uh, the different product offerings that you have to offer. So in e-vehicles, uh, we offer a range of products, starting from the passenger segment, we have the e-rickshaws. Mm -hmm. uh, going forward, we are also getting into two-wheelers now, as we talk. Uh, we also have uh, for smart good deliveries for inter-factory and intra-factory movements. So those are called as e-loaders, uh, ranging from, um, you know, three tons to five tons to even one ton. Uh, they serve uh, multiple applications, uh, you know, in, as I mentioned, inter-factory and inter-factory. Also, for uh, e-commerce players, uh, it is a huge benefit for them. Yeah. Moving on from there, we also have e-garbage collectors. Those are hydraulically operated e-garbage collectors. So today we see uh, big garbage collectors moving on to the roads. They cannot enter the small lanes uh, right. you know, in, in metropolitan cities. So that's where these uh, are garbage collectors come in play. And again, this is made out of plastic, so there are multiple advantages, you know, rust-free, um, anti-static and all that. Now, we are also uh, getting into a different product line, which will be uh, a four-wheeler, a sort of a small four-wheeler, uh, that will be useful for point-to-point uh, -point movement between uh, busy cities. Talk to us about the challenges that you faced during, you know, while you were expanding your e-vehicles business. When we started the electric vehicles business, we started with the three-wheeler platform, mm -hmm. namely the e-rickshaws. Right? Uh, we realized that the consumers for this kind of a market 
are very the clientele per se is very low profile and they're mainly migrants coming in from villages so they don't have uh, a household in the city they don't have a capital backing with them they don't have a credit score with them mm -hmm. they don't have a place to park the vehicle they don't have a place to charge a vehicle they don't know how to go about financing the vehicle right so these are all the challenges that we faced uh, when we launched uh, we made a product that was really good we thought it would sell but um, today also you know a lot of people they want to come and buy the vehicle from us uh, they place their bookings they pay up the down payment but deliveries cannot happen because of these reasons uh, you know sometimes the finance doesn't go through sometimes uh, the credit score doesn't allow mm -hmm, them mm -hmm. uh, to uh, you know purchase it so these are mainly the challenges that we faced uh, so to to cover up these challenges to counter these challenges now we are also launching a new startup which will be separate from okplay uh, wherein we will be facilitating facilitating these vehicles okay. uh, not as a selling proposal but as a leasing proposal okay. so all the hassles that i mentioned here parking charging uh, you know finance uh, all of these hassles will be taken care of and the vehicles will be simply leased to the end consumer on a daily basis or even an hourly basis weekly basis monthly basis however they would like it Raghav, I would like to uh, know your views on the Economic uh, Times iconic brands of India. Mm -hmm. Your company, OK Play, is also being recognized today on this occasion. So what are your views about this platform? I think it's a very good initiative. It's, it's really nice to be recognized and it gives a boost uh, to yourself, to your company, to your employees to be recognized in such a big platform. Uh, to be placed uh, at a level where uh, you know you're recognized uh, in in entire India and also globally. What does the future hold for OK Play? So the future is, uh, I believe, as we stand today, we have multiple opportunities. Uh, we we are standing at, uh, if I may say so, a gold mine. Uh, Absolutely. And I, with and I do believe that if we if we go at the right way, then we can achieve what we desire. All right, Raghav, thank you so much for taking our time and joining us over here. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thanks a lot.